Coverage of the 2013 NEC Men's and Women's Tennis Championships continues here on NEC Front Row and NortheastConference.org. We're here with the Mount St. Mary's Mountaineers men's tennis team. They advanced into tomorrow's semifinals with a hard-fought victory today, and we'll start with Coach Hammond. Coach, um, full disclosure, I thought your team at the, prior to the tournament, prior to the beginning of the tournament, was a, a sleeper team. You, you beat Robert Morris a close match earlier in the year. You played Bryant really close earlier in the year, so I thought that your team could be a sneaky team. Um, how, did, how did you feel? about your team's chances coming into this weekend? Well, we kind of feel that way, too. We feel like we have the talent to beat anybody. Uh, we played Robert Morris up in Pittsburgh, and we know they have the talent to beat anybody, too. So we played them a tight 4-3 up there, came down to a match point, which we held and won. Today we win the doubles point, which was really big. And I give all, all the credit to my seniors, my senior captains, who have worked so hard for four years. So we win the doubles point. And then we pulled out three singles matches to win, and we're looking forward to playing Bryant tomorrow. So. Uh, in, the, in the match today against Robert Morris, it was uh, almost deadlocked, close on just about every single si uh, singles court. And then um, your guys, a lot of whom are right here right now, uh, pulled away towards the end. What did you learn about your team and, and the fighting spirit of your team here that can help you guys going forward in this tournament? Well, I didn't learn it. I've known for four years that they're great competitors, and when you've got great competitors on your team, you got a good chance. So, Coach, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on the win today. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. All right, let's bring in Matt Blake for singles for Mount St. Mary's. Talk a little bit about your performance today. How would you evaluate uh, your victory over there at first singles? Um, I played pretty well. Uh, it was pretty tough with the win today uh, for both players, but I felt I uh, adapted uh, quicker and more effectively to it. Um, we've played a lot actually outside. We actually don't have any wind guards or screens on our court at all. So we're really used to the wind, which definitely helped to our advantage because they play a lot indoors. No wind screen. That must make things really interesting when you guys play home matches. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's crazy. It's 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 a, you like average wind mile per hour is 20 miles per hour. So yeah, this was actually a nice day. <laughs> now, while you got you were involved in your match, your brother was involved in an interesting match. He got down a set and was down 4-1 in yeah. the second set and he battled back. Did, is, did that surprise you or did, is, did you know that he has that resolve, that fighting spirit in him uh, all along? Oh no. I've known that uh, ever since me and him have been hitting when I was like nine and he was six. But I mean, he did actually did the exact same thing when he played um, that kid, like Coach was saying, up in Pittsburgh. He was down three match points and came back, won the match, and won it, clinched it for us. So I've always known that. He never gives up, which is great. He has a huge heart. Now you're going into tomorrow, you get to play Zach Morris for singles from Bryant. Um, what do you remember about the regular season matchup? What can help you going into tomorrow? Uh, he's a real good competitor. He's solid like everywhere. He doesn't have a weakness. Um, yet again, it was surprising that we played at home. It was very windy, so we both had to adapt to the win. Uh, I lost in three sets, but I mean, there's definitely, if I just look back at the first set and what I did well in there, I should be able to figure out what I need to do tomorrow to bring home the W. Congratulations on the win. We're looking forward to that matchup tomorrow. Thank you. All right, let's turn and talk with a couple more seniors. We have uh, Mike Solomon and we have Taylor Place from Mount St. Mary's. Uh, Mike, let me start with you. Uh, how, assess your performance in your match today. How did you think you fared? Uh, I got off to a little bit of a slow start today. I played uh, Jose from RMU. We had a, a tough match back in Pittsburgh. I won in straight sets. He was a little off, and today he just was a notch ahead in that first set. We didn't get to really play the second. so. What do you need to do a little bit better tomorrow in order to, to you know, be competitive and come out with a victory in that match against Bryant? I think tomorrow it's going to rest on first serve percentage and return percentage. Just got to get balls in play. Well, good luck to you. We're looking forward to it tomorrow. Thank you. Let's bring in Taylor. Um, assess your performance. How did you think your match went over there at six singles? Uh, I played pretty well. Uh, had to adjust to a different player this time around. Uh, Robert Morris changed their lineup uh, at the six singles position. Uh, but I think I handled it okay. Are there any adjustments that you had to make midway through the match because of it was a different player you haven't seen before? Uh, no, I, it was more of an adjustment in doubles actually uh, with the wind. Um, I was definitely struggling with my serve in, in uh, doubles when Matt and I were down 5-2 and came back 8-5 uh, I think. Uh, so I figured it out in doubles, I think. Now, as one of the, the senior leaders on this team, you've been with around these guys for a long time, a veteran group going into this semifinal tomorrow. You were at this stage last year. Do you think you guys have what it takes to get that next step towards a championship uh, match coming up on Sunday? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, playing FDU in the semis last year was a good experience for us. Uh, they were definitely a really good team, and playing Brian early in the season was definitely a good experience as well, uh, playing them at our home courts, so we know what to expect. Well, congratulations on the win today. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Mount St. Mary's Mountaineers into the semifinals tomorrow against Bryant. Keep it here all weekend long for more coverage on NEC Front Row.